Today I'm going to be reviewing this NetView Vigil Plus 3 outdoor solar security camera that was recently sent to me by the brand. Now, this is designed to connect up to your Wi-Fi so you don't have to have an, a 3G card or anything like that. As long as it's within Wi-Fi range of your house, then this will work. I love also the fact that this solar panel is going to actually come with the cords. You can mount the solar panel separately from your camera. So say if you have this mounted under your ease, you can easily run this solar panel up to where it gets enough sun to power your solar camera. Um, so your bat your camera with the solar power. So definitely do like that. It's going to come with two mounting brackets So you've got one for the camera and then also one for the solar panel So I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted up show you what it looks like and then of course test it out I got these mounted up here And so this one's going to be for my solar panel Then this one's going to be for my camera itself and I could easily mount these a long ways apart if I chose to as well But I just went ahead and did one on top of the other essentially I love the fact that this is also gonna have a lot of movement to it So you can see here I can easily adjust the camera all of the way around just by spinning this thing and then tightening it up Same thing for the solar panel as well So it's gonna be a super nice feature that you can easily adjust it as needed to get your camera to point where you want it to and even to get the angle that you need to for your solar panel so it can catch a lot of sun so let's go ahead and put those on so you can see what these are going to look like obviously i've got tons of extra cord you can kind of see it hanging down there i'll probably end up tying it back up behind that pole and then you can see i can easily adjust this as needed as well so i can have it pointed more that direction have it pointed more this direction whatever the case might be that i need to for that and the same thing with the solar panel so i actually have it kind of angled up but you could easily turn it all the way around if i wanted to totally up to you how you want it to be so for us we're just going to kind of go like that and that'll get that'll get plenty of sunlight here in the afternoon hours once the sun gets out from behind the trees so let me go ahead and get the app open and show you how that's going to work now when setting up the camera, it actually tells you to push down the power button. However, finding the power button was actually a little bit of a pain. So you actually need to pop this off and it's gonna be that little tiny button that's right down inside of there. So although this has a power on there, that actually isn't going to be on anything at all. So that is something to keep in mind. You'll just need to pop that off. And then once it's beeping, then you can connect it to the NetView app. Now it's relatively easy to go through this process. The only issue that I ran into during the setup process was actually finding this. Once I got the power button turned on, then was actually, it gives you a little QR code here on the screen, and then you have to scan it with the camera. Now that actually was a little bit of an issue. And what I ran into was I just need to turn the brightness all the way up on my phone for it to be able to scan. And then it scanned without an issue. Just cause I got a partial sunlight, partial shade sitting right here. It wasn't scanning that QR code properly. And then once you get through there, then it's going to upgrade to the latest version, which is the step that I'm on now. Once you get the connection set up, this is what it's gonna look like inside of your NetView app. So you can do a couple of different things. You can turn on the light, you can turn on the sound so you can hear, or so you can, and then you can also hold and speak. So you can push down on this and you can talk and it will actually come out of the camera now it's not going to be incredibly loud but you can do it so i'm going to go ahead and stop that now let me go ahead and turn that sound off so this is going to be the sound that it's hearing so that's why it's actually coming through my phone so i can hear on my phone the sound that is being made outside which is me actively talking so that's just going to be by pushing this button here and obviously you're going to get some feedback since I'm standing right next to it. Now you can make it bigger as well just by pushing on this. I'm just going to turn it sideways. Now there's no way for you to actually turn the camera. It is a single mounted camera. So you can't like actively turn it like this way or anything like that. So wherever you get it is where it's going to be, wherever you set it. But you can see it is live. So I'm going to turn it here and you can see my other phone that I'm using right there. And I'm going to turn it back. You can see the bushes that I've got there. So I'm just going to set it probably something right like that, right at the edge of the bushes. So it's getting a good amount of my front lawn. It's getting a good amount of my um, front yard, that sort of thing. So it does have a nice wide view. It's essentially just getting my front gate and everything that comes out in front. So overall, definitely a really nice camera. I love the fact that it's going to have the solar on it. Also, it's gonna have that nice long cord so you can mount this in a totally separate spot than where you have your solar. So if you have uh, only sun in one location, you're trying to mount another location. I do wish that it would turn, have a way in the app for it to turn, but as is definitely a really great option. And you don't have to worry about buying, you know, like a 3G card or anything like that. It just runs off the Wi-Fi in your home.